Coming up right here on The Best of Friends, they're some of society's toughest kids, but they're changing. I love loving things. I love loving things. How bonding with animals sets these kids free, coming up. Then, the wildest song you'll ever hear. It's Orca FM, and you can tune in. We'll show you how. And later, meet an excellent student who's teaching us about human evolution. All here on The Best of Friends. Hi, good to have you with us. I'm John Nickel, and this is my best bud, Otis. You know, when I was a kid, I loved being outside with my dog. From the looks of things, I wasn't the only one. I still love being out here. But you know, there are some kids that never get that chance. You're about to meet someone who didn't. He's from the inner city, and his life was a cycle of trouble and neglect. Now, thanks to a menagerie of animals, he's learning about compassion. As Sarah Harmon tells us, what may have been this boy's last chance may be his best chance to heal. At first glance, this looks like a typical western ranch. But look again, and you'll see this place isn't typical at all. In fact, it's very special. The Colorado Boys Ranch is a psychiatric treatment center. The ranch teams troubled youth with animals and often rescues both. These kids come to us with very little trust when it comes to adults in their life. A lot of them's been neglected in, in that form. There's been no real role models. The boys here are some of society's toughest. Kids who have already failed in treatment after treatment. Most could tell you a thing or two about drugs, or jail, or abuse. Here, though, they'd prefer to tell you about the animals. Take Thurman, for instance, who comes from the inner city. I just like getting into a lot of fights to hurt people and stuff. Whoa, girl, whoa. I used to look at things as a, I don't care. Like, I don't care about nothing. Like, People, they lock me in a room or something. I don't care. Whoa, girl. That was my major problem. I didn't care. And, that, and me not caring got me in lots of trouble. It got me in lockup. It got me everywhere. It got me in trouble with my family. So I learned how to start caring. One of the animals Thurman cares about most is an Appaloosa named Morgan. The thing about Morgan is before she came to the boys' ranch, she was beat. She was a bruise. So she gets kind of scared if you make certain movements around her and stuff. But once she gets able to trust you, she's a good horse, a good, good horse. Many of the animals were abused or neglected before they came here. It's a pain Thurman can share. He's worked with Morgan day after day for months to win her trust. It's like a slow-moving process. But once the horse trusts you, it's the best thing the best thing. He's grown to really love and respect the animals. They don't talk back to him, they don't fight him, they don't, you know. And he's also learned that if he gives love and affection to them, he receives it back. Today, Thurman discovers a cut on Morgan's leg. So while she's cared for, Thurman will ride another horse named Como. It's a good horse. All horses are good horses. It's habits they pick up. Just like all people start off to be all people are real good people. It's just things they do that's bad. And habits they pick up, that's bad. This boy understands these horses. A lot of these animals have been harmed and everything. And I've been harmed. And the way you, the way it's best to like, work with a person who's, that had a bad life is, you know, understand me and try to talk to them. While the wounded horses help Thurman ride out his pain, this carefree foal helps him find hope. Shortly after this foal was born, her mother died. The baby horse was given to the ranch's loving care. Thurman took much of that care upon himself. At first, when, when we first got it, we had to feed it like powdered milk stuff. And she would drink that, and then we'd give her hay and grain. She can get big, though. The ranch hasn't named the foal yet. Thurman calls her Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea. 
A foaling program at the ranch allows the kids to see mares care for their babies. For some of the boys, like Thurman, it's their first real glimpse at what nurturing can be. Guess what? Home life can be what you just saw, mom and baby. You know, uh, sharing, giving, taking, and that's what we work real hard at with all the boys down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thurman tries to bring that kind of nurturing to this motherless baby. I walk around the whole ranch. Yeah, I, ba I bathe her. Everything brush her hair. Her hair used to be like it, like this little, and it sticks straight up like a mohawk. There she go. Full of life. Full of life. She wants someone to spend time with her. So do I, and so we, we bond together. I'm a lonely person, but even when I'm on the unit, I stay to myself. I have them in my room. When I come to the animals, I turn a different person. Now throttle up your gas. Take the red handle. Give a little bit more gas. Not a lot. That's good. Now when Thurman's working toward a high school equivalency degree. He's learning construction and other marketable skills. You can take control of your life and be in control of yourself and go wherever you want to go. Sky's the limit. Everything in my life that's happening right now is because of these animals. I love loving things. I love loving things. Mm, that's nice. Thurman's making profound changes in his life, and there's a good chance those changes will stick. One study followed boys for two years after they left the ranch. 85% were staying out of trouble, maintaining better relationships at home, and leading more positive, productive lives. That is a credit to the boys, the staff, and the animals. When we come back, their song has fans all over the world. We'll show you how you can tune in and break out your snow gear. Here's the first bump. It's time to mush after this. <laughs> 